Hey everybody, this is Erica, the technology nerd likes to film stuff, and I want to make a short video right now talking about performance differences with the iPhone 6S Plus and also the iPhone 6S. Now this video is not made to irk people, it's not meant to get under anyone's skin or make people angry, this is just simply out of curiosity. So there seems to be a performance difference with frame rate between the iPhone 6S Plus and also the iPhone 6S. So with just some animations around the operating system here, I notice that you drop down to 30 frames per second on the 6S Plus, but not on the 6S. So just say you're doing something as simple as just holding down on here. I can see that this animation looks more like 30 frames per second instead of 60 frames per second. Now this is something that you probably would not see if this is not a 60 frames per second video. Let's go ahead and do this with the iPhone 6S. And this is very, very smooth. There is actually quite a difference that I am seeing here. You can also try this with some peek and pop features. Let's just try this photo with my cousin and I on my wedding day. So when you take a look at this one here, you'll notice how smooth this is. This looks like a nice 60 frames per second. But on here, if you look ever so carefully, you can see that it's a little slower, a little maybe a little faster than 30 frames per second. The place where I really noticed this issue last year with the iPhone 6 and the iPhone 6 Plus was when pulling down this search bar here. So when you go back up, watch this. That looks kind of like 30 frames per second to me. You can kind of see it's jittering a little bit. I think I actually mentioned this in my review from last year. When you go like this, this looks like a nice 60 frames per second. You can do that again. Did it? Did it? So you can really see that there are some frames dropping there. This same thing applies when you just use 3D Touch at all. So you can see when I'm pressing down on here that we are dropping quite a bit of frames. This, I think this is where it's most noticeable. We're on here. On the smaller version of the phone, this is very much nice and smooth. Now, why is this happening exactly, Apple? What is going on with this? So we've got really great hardware on these things, but clearly things are not optimized properly for the bigger version of the phone, where everything looks really nice and smooth on the smaller version of the phone. Some things don't look as smooth on here. So again, I can't say exactly why this is, but it's something that should be pointed out if frame rates are really a thing that you notice and you feel that the Apple experience is being ruined by having that difference in frame rate, you should probably go with the smaller version of the phone. But a lot of people like me are going to like this size of display. So Apple needs to figure this one out. I don't know why this is doing this, but this is just so that you can see. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. This has been Erica the Technology Nerd Likes to Film Stuff. Please rate, comment, and subscribe, and good night.